What is up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Erica if you are new here and we are trying something new on my YouTube channel today. So normally I do activewear and clothing reviews but to be completely honest I've been shifting my focus this year away from online shopping. I know you guys love my activewear reviews but it just hasn't been bringing me as much joy to buy clothes and i just haven't been doing it as often which also results in me not being able to keep up with my youtube channel as much so i hope you guys will be okay with this little shift we're taking um i really want to start reviewing some books and just talking about books i have really gotten into reading i honestly used to only read maybe a book a year like every year for the longest time i tried to make my new year's resolution read more books read 10 books a year and it started so slowly for me i was reading maybe one book a year literally and then about two years ago i read i think like five books maybe three or five books and then it's kind of gradually gotten better over the past two years last year i read 15 books I want to say and this year I'm already at 17 books, which is Crazy, so I have been finding joy in reading and it's something I really just like to do before bed to unwind And I'm just really particular with the types of books. I like So I thought it could be fun to bring my love of reading to YouTube And that could be a way that I keep up with my YouTube better than I have been So if you guys like this video if you like this direction of content Let me know below if you like reading reviews Make sure to subscribe. I'm definitely going to be posting some more of those on my channel moving forward. But without further ado, I wanted to start off by reviewing The Last Word by Taylor Adams. Now, my close friends got me a book of the month subscription for my birthday, which was in January. And honestly, if you have somebody in your life, this is literally not sponsored. My friends got me the subscription um, for six months with book of the month and I highly recommend it as a gift for friends of yours that like reading because it's a great way to find new books to kind of build your own collection. As you can see, I have my little bookshelf I'm starting to build out, but um, I've collected a lot of books over the past six months and I always skip if a book doesn't sound interesting to me, but you can try a lot of different new genres and try different authors. So I love book of the month, can't recommend it enough, not sponsored. But um, this May's book of the month was The Last Word by Taylor Adams, like I said, and I picked this particularly because I read No Exit by Taylor Adams in January and it was a five-star read for me. It was the first book that I read that I was like so anxious into it like could not put it down like it just had all of those descriptors of a thriller that you read on the back of a cover that say gripping unput downable tense so i loved no exit so i had to get the last word and this one was definitely different than No Exit. Now, one thing with reviews that I wanna post, I don't wanna give too much away because I personally love watching booktube and finding books to read, but I don't want the story or the plot to be spoiled. I don't even really like when they talk about like the beginning of the book or the characters or any of that. Like. I don't need a plot recap because I'm going to pick up the book and read it, but I do want to know if it's worth reading or if I think I'll like it, if it sounds interesting. So this is a horror thriller. I think it leans a little bit more thriller with some gore um, in it, but it's not a really hardcore horror book. I would say it's definitely leaning more towards thriller. Um, there are some parts that will make you just kind of like wince, but not anything too crazy. It was a fairly easy read. I could not stop reading this book at times. There are two perspectives, but they're not in chapters. They're actually within the chapters. So it's different fonts that will go between two different perspectives, which that was interesting. I don't know if I loved that. And that's honestly why I docked it one star. I ended up giving this four stars. It was a crazy over the top thriller. 
If you enjoy books that have realistic plots, I don't think you would love Taylor Adams just because his plot lines are very over the top and just crazy. Like things change like that and it's very twisty and turny, borderline like camp over the top. That could never happen, but if you're just looking for a fun read and a book that you can kind of get lost in and just have fun, like it literally reads like a horror movie and that's honestly why I love No Exit as well because it read to me like an action packed movie. And I got the same vibes from this. It was a little bit slower. The beginning, like the ambiance and world building of it was amazing. Like I literally felt like I was on the beach in a house with the main character and I could just visualize everything so well. He does a really good job just describing things, metaphors that just really paint a visual picture in your mind. So that's something I really love about his writing. So yeah, I highly recommend this if you are a lover of thrillers, if you are wanting to dip your toes into the horror genre a little bit, this is a good place to start. It's not too intense with the horror aspects and there's actually a little bit of romance sprinkled in. I was unsure how he was going to end the book, but it ended up going in a direction that I really, really loved. Like. I was not expecting to have this be one of the types of books that I like finish reading and just hold to my chest, but it was surprisingly. So that is a very long winded way to say, I think you should pick up the last word. If you have book of the month, you can use it as an add on. That's usually what I do if I didn't originally pick a book and then want to add it on. but. Highly recommend. I absolutely loved this book. I had a fun time with it. It was almost five stars for me. I didn't love the two POVs and that's honestly the only reason why, but it does kind of make sense as the book goes on. But yeah, that is my little quick review of The Last Word by Taylor Adams. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know below because I really want to start incorporating more book reviews on my channel. You can follow me on Instagram, EricaXTimmons, and on TikTok, EricaXTimmons. I might start sprinkling some book reviews over there as well. And yeah, let me know if you guys have read the book. Let me know what you guys think down below, and I will see you guys in my next video.